Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and finally Apple has released the second beta of iOS 26.3 and it's a huge disappointment. It's nothing we have been expecting from this beta given the fact that the first beta was released almost a month ago from now and it's a quite a big update but it's actually really disappointing but we're gonna get into that in a few minutes here first of all let's talk about some details regarding this update but before we get into all that i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure to hit the subscribe button it really helps out a lot now, first off, let's talk about the size of the update. Now, this is really interesting. You can see right here, the size of the update shows almost 12 gigabytes. It's big, quite huge for such a small update. And in some cases, some users will see an update a few hundred megabytes, like 700 to 900 megabytes. Some will see, like my device right here, 11 point 38 gigabytes and that's insane now what's really interesting is that it shows that it's 11 gigabytes but it's actually not i've also seen some someone post on x whether like it will show 12 gigabytes but the data usage shows that it has only downloaded like one gigabyte and even in my experience here updating the download was really really fast of course let me know that it's not actually 11 gigabytes even though it shows right here which is really interesting and this is the new build number for ios 26.3 beta 2 23d 5103d ending with a d indicating that most likely there will be another beta before the rc but we're going to talk about that in a few minutes here and also the final release of ios 26.3 so what's new with this update well there's nothing actually new with the third beta of ios 20 with the second beta of ios 26.3 now as you know with the first beta we got this new feature where you can transfer stuff to android like transfer everything from your iphone to your android device just like you would do between different iphones also there is a new change on the lock screen the wallpapers for weather and astronomy have been actually separated in two different sections and something right here under notifications there was a feature for notification forwarding and that was right here just under screen sharing but that has actually been removed so from beta 1 to beta 2 minus one new feature that's all we got now this leads us to believe that iOS 26.3 even though it will be quite a big update when you take a look at the number 0.3 it's actually not that big we get a couple of new features but mostly will be improvements and bug fixes even though it took Apple a really really long time to, uh, to basically release this update it will take a few more weeks before it gets out to the public so basically just fixes and improvements bug fixes under the hood nothing new that you will see once you update your device to the new ios 26.3 now of course whenever we talk about an update the battery is really important taking a look here at the battery life of course we can talk here about the first beta not the second one we'll have to wait a few more days for this but the battery life is decent and not the best ever but it's okay so right here you can see i'm getting about seven hours here on a 100 percent charge in my iphone and you have to keep in mind that this battery is actually at 83 percent maximum capacity so you cannot expect it to have such a great battery life but it's okay even though it's still on beta and that those results are on beta one it is actually quite good and performance is also good as well of course we have a few bugs here and there that a lot of users have been reporting like bugs with the keyboard or settings resetting and stuff like that but performance otherwise is actually quite good and it shows right here on numbers 2999 on the single core score while we have a multi-core score of 7626 again a great great score even though we're still on early beta stages and it will Will require a few more weeks before this gets released to the public now of course we will have other updates in the meantime i was 26.2.1 let's just first get i was 26.3 out of the way and talk about the release dates for this update most likely next week the 19th 
or the 20th of January will be the third beta release and then the RC the last week of January most likely January 26 usually Apple will release the RCs on a Monday now during that week we might get or we might get not an RC2 but most likely the public release of iOS 26.3 will be February the 2nd or the 3rd. Usually Apple will release big updates at the beginning of the week. So that's my take here. The 2nd or the 3rd of February will be the release dates for iOS 26.3. Now, as I said, in the meantime, we will get another update and that's iOS 26.2.1. That has actually been now confirmed. It has been spotted on the web and it's basically being it's getting ready to be released to the public and i wouldn't be surprised if we see it released this week or early next week but it might happen this week as well maybe as early as today or maybe thursday so usually apple will release these smaller updates any day of the week so we don't expect them just at the beginning of the week so we'll have to wait and see when that happens and of course it will be a small update with no new features but with bug fixes and improvements under the hood which are really important of course you want to install them until you get ios 26.3 on your device which will be again probably another three weeks from now now we have another big news here to talk about well, of course, iOS 26.3 looks like will be a very small update. iOS 26.4 looks like will be the biggest update to iOS 26. Now, on a previous video, we have talked about other features that we know are coming to this update, but there is another one that is coming finally the new Siri, the revamp of Siri, whatever you want to call it, which we have actually been waiting for more than a year now since iOS 18 was released. It looks like it's finally coming and Apple has confirmed the, that Google's Gemini will power the new Siri features. So basically you're getting Gemini instead of Siri now on your device. Those are the new features that are coming, making Siri better than before. Apple announced actually at WWDC 2024 that there will be a revamp of Siri with a lot more new feature, more personalized Siri, and it looks like it's finally coming to iOS with iOS 26.4. And we have actually been expecting this to be powered by ChatGPT, but it looks like it will be powered by Google Gemini. And now that has actually been confirmed by Apple. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is the latest update to iOS 26.3. Again, a big update in size, but a very small update in features and changes. So again, we'll have to wait probably another three weeks from now to get this out to the public. And then of course, will be time for iOS 26.4 to go on the beta stages, which will be very exciting as it looks like that will be the biggest update to the new iOS 26. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.